Hey guys, this is going to be a closer look and a more in-depth look at the flight bag that I carry with me on a regular basis right now when I travel for work. It has the sleeve on the back so you can fit it on top of your roller bag. It also has a shoulder strap that I normally just tuck in the back. This is the interior of the bag with basically everything unpacked. First things first, in the back goes my company issued electronic flight bag, which is the iPad. And that goes in a neoprene carrying case standing up there. This is a clear plastic bag that I put all my electronic things in. This is the company issued external battery pack that we use to charge our iPads if they run out of battery during the day. This is a soft plastic case that I normally keep all my charging cables in, cables to charge my Apple Watch, iPhone, headset, and my iPad, and anything else I may need to be charging while I'm on the road. Probably as you can recognize the normal iPad charging block from Apple. Next is another clear carrying case that I normally keep all my small toiletry items and etc. items. And here I normally put body spray. When you're in the flight deck, you don't want to be wearing any strong smelling cologne or perfume. This is some hand sanitizer. I know they come in many forms. This just happens to be in a spray form. This is my MAC Fix Plus. I love carrying this with me because it just kind of refreshes your face, your makeup throughout the day. This is a Tide to Go pen, which is a must in anybody's travel bag. This is another refillable spray bottle that I got from Target. And in here, I normally keep Febreze because nobody likes a musty old uniform. This is some hand lotion. Being up at altitude all the time, our hands get pretty dry. And it happens to smell like coconut, which is always nice. This is a Travalo. The way that it works, you take off the cap of your cologne or your perfume bottles, and then you pump this on top of that, and it fills into this. Normally, I just bring my favorite go-to lipstick to touch up throughout the day. This is a film canister that I normally keep any approved over-the-counter pain medications such as Advil. This is my favorite container to bring coffee with me while I'm on the go. It's by Thermos. I got it at Target. I love that the top comes off and that can be used as a cup when I don't have anything else. The lid screws on extremely tight as long as you don't overfill it and I've never had a problem with it spilling and it keeps it hot throughout the whole day. This is the Hydro Flask bottle. One of their various sizes has a flip top. It keeps any beverage hot or cold throughout the day as well. This is my flying headset. It's the newest member to my flight bag. It is the Bose QuietComfort 3.5. It's the second version that they have. And it is half the size of the previous headset I was using. And I have it in here paired with the N-Flight mic which does not come with it. It works by attaching a strong Velcro circle to the headset. The mic Velcros to that, plugs in. Now you've turned a normal set of travel headphones into a headset that can be worn in the flight deck. Everybody always needs to bring a good pair of sunglasses when you're on the road. This pair is by Privé Revo. I got them from DSW. This folding sunglasses case is also amazing because it folds pretty flat when the sunglasses are not inside, making it really easy to pack. Just make sure you don't bring a polarized pair depending on what type of plane you fly. In this side compartment, I have some odds and ends relating more so to work. This is an extra neck strap that I use in case I need to put my badge on the lanyard to put around my neck. This is a small leather folding case that I keep my passport my pilot's licenses in, as well as any of my other flying documents, and it keeps them safe and sound in this outside pocket. In the front here, I just have some odds and ends. Here is my new flashlight. It's extremely bright, which is just what I wanted, and it charges instead of needing batteries. Then I usually have a collection of a bunch of pens, usually from hotels. In this other outside pocket, I have more personal items. I always have some gum or breath mints on hand at all times. This is my wallet. I usually like to carry a small one just with the essential items in it. And I got this little one from Target. I always have some type of hair pony or elastic. This is a scrunchie. They're my favorite for not creasing my hair throughout the day. 
I have my company ID badge with me at all times. And that is it guys for my flight bag tour. Hope it was maybe helpful or satisfied your curiosity. <laughs> I have now been using this bag for less than a year, but I've had a flight bag at the airlines for a year now. And so I've kind of figured out what I like, what I don't like. Maybe it'll evolve more in the future. I think once this bag wears out, then I might get a heavier duty one. I've noticed that this one doesn't have a lot of like tread or actually any tread on the bottom or anything like that. So it gets like the fabric gets a little ripped up because this one hangs on the front of my big roller bag. So this is the one that gets scuffed up every time it, it stands up and it's, it's on the dirt and grime. But anyway, thanks for watching guys and I will catch you in the next video.